Hey guys, it's Omicron here. So a bunch of you guys wanted to know how I connected to Hypixel China, so I'm here to do sort of a mini tutorial for it. The first thing you want to do is, is not install the Chinese Minecraft launcher yet, that'll come later. Um, but I've linked this page in the description. This is basically to register for a NetEase account, uh, which is the platform through which uh, Minecraft, the Chinese version, is run. So from here, you're going to enter your NetEase email address. I use at 163.com, but I, I don't really know if there's that much of a difference. I just used this one because it was the first one that came up. Uh, you just enter in whatever email address you're going to use and then the password. You can also translate the page into English if that helps you fill out the information. But for some reason, you have to leave it in Chinese in order for you to submit the steps. So uh, just make sure to select it back to Chinese Simplified when you're done. If you get a little CAPTCHA box like this, you may have to actually fill it out like I do right here. But this is, I mean, this is pretty simple. I, ho I hope you guys can get that. For step two, you're going to want to enter in a phone number that's going to be used for SMS verification. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, I'm using... A, a temporary phone number app on my phone uh, next to me right now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is select the international area code. So this one here is for US and then I'm going to enter in the phone number that I have. This isn't my actual phone number for those of you asking. So I got a text message on my phone number app. I'm using Burner, just an FYI if that helps. Um, and I just enter in the verification code. Cool, so you got that set up. So we're done with that part of the process. There's a bunch of other things here that you can use to manage your account, but we don't really need to worry about that. Now we're going to get to the good stuff. Go to the Chinese Minecraft launcher site, and then you're just going to download the launcher. Wait for it to download. It's just going to open. Then once you've downloaded that setup, this little window should pop up. You just click this here uh, to, I assume, just agree to the terms of service. Just press this button right here. You wait for it to install on this incredible loading screen right here. All right, villager pops up. You just hit the green button and then it should load the actual launcher. And then this window should pop up. So you're going to enter in the email credentials that we set up earlier. It should just autofill and then you can enter in your password. If you want to, this button is to remember your account and this button is to keep you logged in. So we just press the screen button. It doesn't really matter. Then this window pops up. We just uh, press the green. I mean, I'm, I'm basically just going through at this point. And then this pops up, this amazing trailer. Sorry, I, I can't get enough of this. And then once that's finished, this little window will pop up. Now, this is for personal information associated with your account. But in the video, I didn't actually put any real personal information. So I don't really know if it matters. I'm just going to put some random information here. This is basically your, your name, the country you're from, and then some registration number. Uh, but none of it's like actually checked up on or anything. It should just go through... Uh, I don't know if it's different if you select a Chinese uh, region, but you know, we should get this window here. From here, you're gonna enter in the username that you want. The max limit is 12 characters, so you can't go above that. Uh, the great thing about this entire process is that creating an account is entirely free, so you can just, oh, I think that name already, what, I thought there was a little error message. Okay, but well, no, we're good. We got the Omicron game username. From here, the process is pretty straightforward. You're gonna go to the pickaxe icon on the left side here, and then over here on the server list uh, should pop up high pixel. So you just click on high pixel. Uh, click this green button. It's basically like Roblox where each different uh, server or game mode uh, has its own launcher. Press the green button here, then you go to this account. Uh, you create your Hypixel account, I guess. Uh, select that click that and then it'll start loading it in. Fun little villager tool tips down here. Now I forgot to mention this in the beginning of this video but it might not be a bad idea if you use a VPN while you're doing this. It might not be a bad idea to install a VPN or have some sort of uh, service like that. I don't know how much bad stuff that could really happen but I mean you are going on to a foreign Minecraft application and server so it might just be something good to be aware of. Now this is the login screen. This is very very hard to do. I don't know why the servers are garbage for some reason. Sometimes it has taken me like 15 minutes in order to get in. I don't know if that's because of a server queue or if just because the servers are bad. Um, but you know, it may take a couple attempts. Sometimes it'll disconnect you like it just did there. A bunch of people told me I was overreacting in the last video when I was setting all this stuff up. But honestly, these this entire process took like an hour without like that many sources available in order to uh, connect to the server. So trust me. Also, I was recording it at like 1 a.m., which is like when everything is funny. So I was I was kind of freaking out a bit. I'll give you guys that. You just got to keep trying, honestly. I mean, the servers are probably not that great. Oh, oh, we actually got in. Sick. All right, now you're on Hypixel China. 
And, uh, yeah, we've, we've pretty much completed the process. People are spamming chat, like, 24-7, by the way, so I recommend just leaving that lobby. Sometimes the servers are like that, it just happens. But congratulations, you made it to Hypixel China. Uh, the rest of this stuff should be pretty familiar if you've already played on Hypixel before. This little message that just popped up in chat is actually notifying people that Hypixel China will be shutting down uh, by July 1st. So, you know, you have a pretty limited time to uh, create an account and maybe check it out. There's a couple things I wanted to discuss before you go off and cyberbully some poor kids in Chinese Hypixel Skyward. The first thing is that this is a Chinese Minecraft server and we're playing on Chinese Minecraft and Chinese Hypixel So we're not really supposed to be here if we're not from China So just keep that in mind that this is like, you know, this is not our domain even though we're Hypixel players This is a completely different experience So keep in mind that you're a foreign guest here and you know sort of treat the server with respect like that Number two I know that there's a lot of controversy in the news in the world regarding China and especially lately with COVID-19 You're not gonna solve any sort of news controversy by playing on your stupid Minecraft Chinese Hypixel Pixel account, okay? So don't be that guy that, you know, spams stuff about, about coronavirus or, you know, be super racist. Well, well, don't be racist in general. Don't take this as an opportunity to just say whatever the hell you want. I mean, this is really more of a privilege than anything to even be on here. So, you know, respect the server, respect the other players, respect the way that the world currently is because, I mean, you're just playing video games, man. I just want to play my Bed Wars. Remember, this is not your normal Hypixel that you're connecting to. This is a different experience. One other thing I forgot to mention is that Hypixel is automatically loaded on Optifine 1.8.9 client, so you you should be able to have your zoom controls and everything that you can just bind in the controls uh, panel. And also, if you want to, you can change your language settings uh, to English. I just like to have it on Chinese just because I feel like it makes the experience a little bit more authentic. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. I don't know how to like buy a rank or anything, but the server is shutting down in two months anyway, so I don't know if you'd want to do that. Um, but yeah, have a good time on Chinese Hypixel. Respect the server, like I said, because this is not your domain. And you know, have a good time because I mean, the server is going to be shutting down on June 30th. So, you know, this is a pretty good chance to, you know, Know, maybe start a new Hypixel account, grind out some games for a little while just for the funsies. Um, and that about wraps it up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.